Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Tonight we're back here with Ask the Sonic Heroes. Tonight we're here with episode 21 with Team Dimensions. So Silver Blaze and Marine are back at it once again. So as always, this is the actually this is the second to last of the three parters. So we're almost there. Just one more, and we're officially just back to singular episodes. <laughs> So without any further ado, like I said, be sure to like Scott for more. Go check out all three parts down below. Hope you enjoy. Let's go. I had to skip ahead of an ad too. And here we go. Hello everyone. Hey SPO, welcome, welcome back. Episode 21 of Ask the Sonic Heroes. I'm your host, SPO the Chameleon. Joining me as my co-host today is my good friend Charmy. Hey! Charmy! Hi! How's Yo! it going? And we're here today on Seagull Beach with our guests today, Team Dimension. Say hello, everyone. Donna. Hi, everybody. It's nice to be here. Hello, Silver. this is Blaze. Okay. Hello, everyone. Blaze? Good to see Rain. you all again. Hey, good. And without further ado, we'll start with asking Silver some questions. So all right, Silver, Silver, you know the drill. Please choose numbers 1 through 30. Uh, how about uh, question number 26? 26? <laughs> well, that's an interesting question. From <laughs> wow, Lucy this is going to be an interesting start. Atkinson 2. Two Good call. Who do you think is the most likely member of Ask the Sonic Heroes cast to become evil? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow. Woo. Woo. Evil. Gosh. Yeesh. I believe I like to believe that everybody has has, has some good in them. I mean, except for Eggman and Eggman and Nega. You know, those, Fair. those guys got nothing. They suck. But uh Yep. <laughs> That's agreeable. <laughs> the B has spoken. Hey, he did not give us our pay. <laughs> he did not. Still? He still owes us. I don't know. I'm just How have you not sued him yet? Uh, a shadow. <laughs> probably. Probably. <laughs> Harsh. Depends on, uh, what what uh, story path you chose in, in Shadow the Hedgehog? Uh, he actually sure. could have been evil a couple times. That is true. Uh, he, he he's good. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Obviously, but uh, he was a little confused was, uh, then, but I had fun. He just always seems a little cranky, but he doesn't seem so again. Bad. I think the dude needs some oh, therapy. He, he was, uh, no offense to the dude, dance, but yeah, <laughs> if if push comes to shove, he, it'd probably be Shadow. All right, Ouch. good answer. But fair. Charming, please ask Blaze a question. So, Blaze, one through 30. I'll choose huh. number five, but, please. I think this is actually the start of the one through 30 stuff. To Blaze. Did your parents ever set you up for arranged marriages when you were younger, or are there sets of rules that you have to follow when picking a husband? Oh. Oh yeah, did um, they? There were Upper? those who did try to push the arranged marriage situation to get, you know, to try to enforce having fortune? more people in charge. They thought maybe <laughs> after losing the king and queen that, that would be the right thing to do, but I felt like a lot of people had ulterior motives. I just really didn't trust anyone, especially Dr. Eggman Nega, who uh, inserted himself into this situation. But um, really, he actually did that. Uh, it's really just oh. a level of competence and um, strength and political training. They needed to at least be a noble. It wasn't necessary that they had to be a <laughs> prince per se, but they did have to be somebody fairly important. It hasn't been a priority of mine still, but. Um, Things have been yeah, more peaceful strong. lately, and the people are starting to think about Calm it down. more compared to before. <laughs> that sounds like a total bummer. I'm not really Headache, into the to be honest. Thing. You know, cooties! But since when did it have to become a responsibility? Not even ask. It's just the way that some Lineage. people do things, and we just respect that. Aw, I mm -hmm. guess. I just want Blaze to be happy. Well, I suppose mm. if I met the... Right, partner. I suppose so I can be that? both happy and fulfill my responsibilities. I certainly <laughs> wouldn't marry anybody that was exceptionally irritating or whose Oof. morals I disagreed with. It, it would be somebody that I found agreeable. I will not be pushed into something that I find disagreeable. Indeed. Fair enough. All right, well, I, I think I've, uh, I've discussed my political future to, uh, to a very detailed Hi. degree. Why don't we move ahead? All right, <laughs> Marine. Fair enough. Uh, before we get to Maureen, yeah, the whole uh, marrying noble family kind of thing. I mean, hey, it could have been worse. Could have gone down the Hatsburg line, you know, the whole incest kind of deal. Oof. Yeah, let's just be glad that Maureen, or not Maureen, <laughs> Blaze's family did not go down that route. Because, oof, don't even want to imagine. 
Anyway, uh, time for Marie's question. Don't know why I keep saying Marie. I, I know I keep saying that, but Maureen, let's go. Please choose questions one through three. Let's That's right. go with eight. Eight. Go. Right, let's see. Tell -tale let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Box toys. Mm, no wait. Morgan one, two, Hedgy. three, four, five, six. Many Six others. people here. Two Marine. Oof. People have been saying how much you look like Sticks the Badger from the Sonic Boom alternate universe. How do you feel about huh. this? Have you been able to meet Sticks before? Do you oh yes, did you meet her, her or what's going what on do you here? Think of her? Um, I mean, I could her. see the similarities, but, but I mean, same color movies. scheme, but uh. This is really interesting. She has a lot of theories. I like the idea of her boomerang as a weapon. I like it. Uh, me and Just don't dive into those theories too much, eh? Really? Briefly, at least. Yeah, hmm? she, uh, uh she, she's definitely interesting. Very a formidable athlete, I'll tell you that much. You know, she was, a, I recall that she was especially good at archery. She has an excellent aim. Oh, yeah, she got invited to the Olympics, if I remember correctly. It was interesting, Seems though. Seems kind of sad she got invited in instead of Marine. One from right. a different dimension who was going to the games that year. Uh, because it's uh, she has a situation sort of like ours, Marine. She's from a different dimension, but she randomly showed up for the Olympics, and she was uh, pretty confused about it. Yeah, it would have been nice if she wasn't screaming more than half of the time. I just imagine that's how she channels her energy <laughs> to fight. Yeah. She, yeah. <laughs> like a Zebra so well. princess battle cry. <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounds really fun. <laughs> but, uh, Don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, she definitely brings it Marie, the don't table. do that. <laughs> Maybe I should start doing oh, that. Please, oh. um, please don't. I don't think we need to. Please don't. I think we work a little bit yeah, better on no the more. Uh, stealth side of things, Marine. Yeah, stop. Right. Now, Charmy, if you Charmy, ask, group question, question, if you please. Okay, I'm asking Silver, yeah? Let's, okay, Correct. Let's go for number 23. I guess From we are sticking one through 30. Silver, Black. Blaze, and Marine. If Everybody? you had to kiss one of your friends, who would it be? <laughs> oh. Yeah, <laughs> the romance so questions nice. have arrived. Uh, <laughs> it can be Staples. on the cake, right? It didn't specify. Yeah. True, uh, true, I true. May as well just go ahead and pick mm -hmm. you, Blaze, since we've already. No. Oh. Uh, I can see that being a potential strategy. Yeah, get the get the get the discount. <clears throat> I, uh, That's cute. <laughs> you know, I I don't know if there is anybody else who I d uh. You guys oh gosh. are getting really awkward. <laughs> well, no, do you blame him? Have as you as seen as the as previous as episodes? I suppose it's true. I'll just mm -hmm. do the same. I'll, I'll pick you too, Silver. There. Great. That's done. sweet. There you, go. there you go. Yay! Fantastic. Okay. Hey. Put away the oh yeah, Marines. Green. I'm watching. Put that down. I'm gonna need this cootie stick. I just know it. Why does Charmy have one too? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. After the Brian, last did you call episode, the cootie stick I or something? Totally brought that here with me as well. We're the cootie stick alliance. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> so Marie, Why? I think you still have to answer. Oh yeah, you still gotta answer, Marie. Answer. It asked you too. Come on. Really have to answer this? Charmy, where are you going? It can be a kiss anywhere yeah, on the cheek, just on the hand, on the forehead. Yeah, and it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. Come on. The one with the, the boys. You know the drill. You gotta answer. Blaze, then. A kiss on the cheek, and that's it. There you go. Well, there good. you go. Was that we so hard? We would all just kiss each other, apparently. <laughs> on the cheek, that's nice. Just keeping it between. Cheek only. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we, we keep it in the family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, then. Moving on. Again, just don't go the Habsburg line, okay? 30, please. Um, I, I think we're gonna go with number 16. From 16. Denise. Denise? Orizaba to Silver. Orizaba. If you were to choose another girl to date other than Blaze, who would it be? <laughs> Why is this wow. happening to me? <laughs> Trust me, I, I didn't want to read that for you, Silver. I'm sorry. Oh, They're very you know the interested in your, uh, in your love life, Silver. Oh, apparently. Ew, far too interested. No kidding. <laughs> that they are. <laughs> yes, that's true, SBO. I guess I, I don't really know. I, I don't have anyone else that I would be willing to date. It's literally that I 
don't think of anyone else. Go. Oh, uh, to have dates. Would you put no. that down? No. Jeez, I swear, I gotta confiscate those two pretty really, sticks. You, you know, you you set up really fun, really fun dates, Blaze, and I enjoy joining you. Why? I'm <laughs> going to use this cookie stick any minute now. Dates are always romantic. I'm going to Stop it. it. You know, get that Stop it. Yeah, cookie but... stick away. Brain. Brain no. is no. never the Brain answer. Step in and save you. <laughs> I'll just hide Please do. <laughs> Thank you. Please go on dates all the time. Exactly. A date literally yes. just means Stop it. you have a hang out. Okay. You have a. That you have you Jesus have an Christ. What is your point? It's okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's an appointment. An appointment. Oh God. Not fun at all. Well. I suppose, though, in order to appease the question, yeah, um, please. Who would you? Who? What other girl would you take uh, so to? So, what friend date? Silver? Okay. Maybe Amy. The friend. I hey. Like to yeah. believe she oh. enjoys my company. I don't feel like there'd be any awkwardness between. The hopefully. Two of us, we're already friends. <laughs> I'll see that. So I hopefully. I don't, I, don't, I don't see why there would be a problem. Right, and there's nothing wrong with meeting with friends. Yeah, exactly. Thank uh, you. No romance necessary. Good. Amen. I mean, good answer. That's all. What? It, Let's move on. Yeah, uh, can, can we please? Sure. No, we certainly I can would totally like right. that. Um, may I have 17, please? 17, let's I see. Louis Alberto Soto Abel. Uh, to Blaze. Yeah, I don't even know how to you say like it. like Sonic? I ask because why did you blush when Sonic saved your life in... Sonic and the Black Knight after Caliber's <laughs> comment. Uh, we're getting uh, we're getting maimed here. Yep. You're getting maimed. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> they just love the YouTube, oh, don't you? <laughs> you know, this is actually kind of difficult Again, for, that's for me to answer possible, because not that Blaze wrong me. universe. Yeah, that no. was um that was a storybook character who turned out to look a lot like me. Right, the resemblance is very uncanny. I imagine mm -hmm. that the reason why she blushed was... I mean, it was just like, uh, It's whoa. probably difficult to have just been in an epic sword battle with someone you're yeah, trying to Yeah, I had the comments from, like, only to be Caliber, and it was like, way. wow. And it was probably a very too soon. moment. The situation's already tense enough as it is. You were saved by someone you perceived to be your enemy, and then their weapon just turns around and looks at you and says to save the hugs and kisses for kisses later. for later that's kind of an embarrassing <laughs> thing to say yeah that just it's just really weird but though i do yeah. like the idea of the sword talking that's kind of interesting sounds like yeah, it depends on personality wise you know as for whether i like sonic or not if that's what you were trying to get at of course i like yeah. sonic he's an excellent companion a well-trusted friend and we work very well together true if that's what you meant. Me. I'm hoping that's what but they meant. But thank you. Thank you Hopefully, for your question. Hopefully, yeah. All right, Marine. Yeah, I think with the whole blush thing, like, it's just, like, surprise. Like, oh, God. <laughs> I mean, sheesh. Out of nowhere. Also, Caliburn. Timing, man. Timing. Moving along. Please choose one through 30. Hit it up, Ray. From... <laughs> Mira, okay, Mira 55X, 55 X. Narkia Tales of Heroes. That's to Marine, what are your thoughts on Monkey D. Luffy and his crew from One Piece? Oh, oh. Bip? I think yeah. an interesting bunch of pirates. I think they're pretty extreme and fun. The powers are interesting. I don't really like yeah. the idea that they can't swim if they eat those double fruits, though. That's kind of a yeah. Big thing Gotta have a trade off, otherwise, swim. pretty much VOP. Right. It would be Marine quite dude. a. Uh, Disadvantage. Are you reading the manga or are you watching the anime? Oh yeah, what is it? Manga, anime, what's up? Different. They actually hmm. do stay pretty close in the anime and manga. It's just that they have a lot of fillers too. Ah, True. the bane of all anime. So many. Oh, pretty much. Your favorite <laughs> character from. Oh yeah, who's your favorite? Probably Luffy, because he's a pirate for the sake of being a pirate. The for the fun of it. Have hmm. their reasons and are fun. <laughs> oh yeah, Probably. best swordsman, find the all blue. For the adventure. Exactly. Amen. The adventure is the most important part of it. Okay, Blaze, we have a <laughs> okay, go ahead. Hey! Okay, no, okay. single. Uh, what the heck? Did it help up in there? Ten, <laughs> the crimson rose. Oh dragon. God, Jesus oh, Christ! Poor B. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ask the question. Quick, hurry, run. <laughs> Can you do the pocket hey. challenge with your team? The pocket Please, challenge? The of Mobius, will you do it? The, wait, wait, the pocket, the pocket challenge? challenge? SBA, you know about Japanese culture. What's the what's the pocket what's the pocket challenge? 
Let's see. Mm -hmm. All that is required is one box of Pocky, a long biscuit with chocolate on one end. Two people begin Ooh. eating one Pocky from each end. The first person whose mouth comes off the Pocky or the other player gets to the middle of the Pocky loses. And if the <laughs> partners end up kissing, it's a tie. Uh, but what? You? <laughs> what? This was what a love question disguised. Oh, no. I, I reply. I, I guess that settles that, though. For the record, wow. that's not the point of the game. That just results in a yes. tie. The point is yeah, to win. We'll say that yeah. Whoever had, we'll eats see. the last bite of the Pocky wins. Just, it's okay. just a fun Does this even game. count? All right. Well, luckily, oh, I boy. have to have an idea. So, uh, oh. so let's, uh, so I, I... I have some leftover pocket. Oh, you do? When Espio went out oh. grocery shopping. <laughs> Are we going yes. to so play? Oh, gosh, okay. it's really difficult to talk with this in my mouth. Let's, you know, you gotta wait it. for the other person, right? Okay. All right, let's just do it. Ready, let's, go! Let's see, okay. see okay. and okay. no one. Oh, 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 oh! And then I oh, use my psychokinesis. And... and now, the pocky is oh. gone. And now we don't have to finish it. You know what? I think <laughs> you're that's tricky. tricky. How do we know which tricky one is tricky? Uh, hey! Oh! Oh! Well, I guess that <laughs> <There we go. laughs> okay. Can I not do the challenge? I hey, that yeah. we don't play with our food. I mean, um, we already played it. We're good. Green and charming. You didn't Can say how many times you have to do it, so we're good. <laughs> No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? Because at least you guys are in the same age category. You know what? No. I'm taking this Bucky <laughs> hostage. I am Bucky <laughs> Pirate. Man. Hey, oh, no, that's God, not God. fair. I want some of that Pocky. <laughs> you have to fight me <laughs> to the death. Oh, oh, Where'd gosh. you get? Well, okay, where'd they get so keyblades? This will be a great opportunity to end this. Party. Yeah, let's <laughs> just let that out. Oh, Thanks for watching, everyone. And stay tuned for part two. Okay, uh, this um, is that's so fun, and uh, this is hopefully they don't hurt each other too bad. No, let's leave them alone for now. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. We sure. See you in the next part. Bye. All right. Well, that was fun. <laughs> oh man. I mean, other than that, I mean, like, woo. Oh, just still checking everything before we uh move on to the next one. All right, all set. So we'll be moving on to part two of the episode 21. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Hello and welcome to episode 21. Hey, part Charmy. Two of Ask the Sonic Heroes. I'm Charmy and this is my co-host, Espio. Great to be here. <laughs> Here's the team the for today, Team Dimension. Dimension. Hello, Charmy. How that, how that, how that Pocky battle go? Uh, oh yeah. We, uh, we kind of lost the Pocky to the heat of war. It was an epic battle. Let me guess, the seagull epic. stole it. Uh, <laughs> kind of crushed that Pocky though. It's, oh. um, oh. it's no good to anyone we got now. Got Pocky dust. <laughs> or Rest what is it good pieces. for? Rest Absolutely pieces. nothing. All right, let's continue. Hey, how to sing? Come on. One through three, <laughs> please. Uh, Pretty much a layup. Let's go for number six. From six. Saint Rabbit to Ooh. Silver. What do your gloves and anklets do? If they help with, the with your telekinesis, how? Um, actually. Oh yeah, that's uh, stuff. What's these up? These anklets and bracelets were actually, were actually uh, made specifically for me back when I was part of the uh, Iblis Resistance. We, okay. It was difficult for others to tell when I was using my psychokinesis because it's very, it's it's very Minute. small little cubes. Well, and it uh. happens very fast sometimes in the heat of the moment. Silver can go from not using his powers to just being mid power very fast. Yeah. So what uh, these are actually for is it, it's a warning sign for other um, resistance faction members, so that way they can clearly see that I'm getting ready to use my psychokinesis. They glow really brightly whenever I'm getting ready to use it. <laughs> So it, it's it's a it's a it's a great way for other resistance members to not have to worry about um, you know getting in Excellent. getting in the way or getting caught otherwise um, getting injured I've with by from me accidentally yeah didn't want to hurt anybody yeah, that makes sense sure. yes True. that's a good warning system for your allies and as well as your enemies well really the main enemy mm. the main enemy we were uh, dealing with at the time anyway oh yeah mindless beast giant flame monster. He didn't pay that yeah. much attention to exactly what we were doing anyway, so 
Uh, Probably just prep, forgot. Was, uh, the Short term memory. The other teammates was what was prioritized. Ah, I see now. Understand. True, true. Okay, Blaze. I mean, considering what they Pick faced, I'm not surprised. Eight this time. Okay. Let's see. Number eight, Taylor Everix. Hey, Blaze. Eve Rax. How did you get your Rax? fire element? Well, I was born. Oh, yeah. Um, mm. That power runs in the family bloodline of the uh, royalty in the soul dimension. Um, and I happen to inherit it from my mother. She was always very talented with her ability Ooh. to manipulate and control the Aww. flames. A young blaze. That's actually kind of cute. Head, and I know that not getting when you get emotional with this kind of power, it gets overwhelming out of and becomes difficult to control. It was never quite That's the, the same ability of fire for you. For her to learn it, as I suppose it was for me. It was quite a few years before I had any handling on it, at, on it at all. So, um, well, she probably just had a lot more practice, Blazy. That's all. Yes. True, uh, true. As I matured, I was able to control things better, mostly by learning how to repress my emotions. I used to be very emotional when I was younger. Although I have learned since then that there's a balance between the two, and I can't just not feel anything. True. For the sake of controlling the powers, I can't be afraid of that sort of thing, because it only makes it worse if you're um if you repress your emotions out of fear. It does um it puts things out of balance. So I have learned a lot in recent years actually <laughs> about how to balance things uh, properly. So I have uh, much better control well. now than I used to, except when I get really angry. Then sometimes I need help cooling off. All right, moving along. Yeah, I can imagine like any time she gets like really mad. <laughs> I bet someone's just like, hey, get the bucket. Prep Blaze is back, super mad again. Just. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez. I, I'm not too sure how much a water bucket would actually help with the cooling, but I can imagine it would just like cool her right off. That or just snap her out of it. Like, hey, oh, oh. Oh. I lost control again, didn't I? <laughs> I can imagine that's what happened, but I can't say for sure, but uh, to each your own, right? Move it along. Marine, Marine? questions one Up to you? 30, please. 20? From 20, Lazy let's see. Blue 3000, games, glitches, and more, to Marine. Oh. If you can meet okay. anyone from Sonic's friends, who would you want to meet? Oh, Eight. I've met many Sonic's met all? friends here on Ask the Sonic Heroes and such. Um, there's a few you, there's a few you haven't exactly interacted with though. I know Marina, Fair. and Marina Knuckles haven't had a whole lot of time together. Oh yeah, Knuckles, that's true. It's probably, Anyone else? It's probably people like Knuckles or Shadow I haven't interacted with much. You mean the Lana ones? Just go with Knuckles. He seems neat, strong. Fair enough. Oh, it seems like he needs to get out a little more. You know, since he's a fan of treasure hunting, Ooh, I'm sure he wouldn't mind uh, he being a, 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 having yeah, a pirate hard. adventures with you. Oh, that would be really fun. That's a good yes, point. I think that's a great idea. Knuckles, <laughs> I want to meet Knuckles. Uh, there you go. I think it's time for the group question. The group question? Let's begin. One through 30. 11. Go. From Youngstar Productions. Hey, Team Dimension, I have a little task for all three of you. I dare oh. you to do your best impression of another Sonic character. You oh. can choose one character each, but you can't have the same as someone else. Oh, 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 can I go first? Can I go first? Go for it, Super Okay, Mario. hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, buddy. Hi. Bring it on. My name's Shadow the Hedgehog. I sound like Keanu Reeves. I'm the coolest. Take a selfie with me. Ugh. <laughs> All, all right, right, right. Uh, hey. Hashtag. Uh, hashtag. Hashtag. hashtag, hashtag, hashtag uh, I'm, I'm, I'm secretly Batman. Hashtag Kylo Ren. <laughs> I love you. Hashtag. Uh, everyone sucks except oh, me. Oh, wow, this is getting sad. Oh my god. Yeah, wow. yeah. That was a lot of. <laughs> well, lot of there you go. Good I job. Ah. Oh, you got one. <clears throat> Oh, this should be good. I am Dr. Eggman. I have a giant mustache, <laughs> and I'm shaped like an egg. And I try to take over the world, but I've always oh failed. Like a Sonic and all the artists. Always <laughs> is a day, and all my robots are useless. I think that was spot on. 
<laughs> nice. Go breathe. Who are you, Blaze? Who are you? Oh, yeah, Blaze, your turn. You Can't use Eggman or Shadow. You're up. Well, I don't know if I could be as funny as either of you. Oh, come hey, on. Hey, just give it a shot. Like come on. on. Silly, Blaze. Uh, oh, loose. <clears throat> hey, find the computer room. I'm still looking for it after it's been missing for five years, even though there's only one. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> you totally still can't find that computer room. Hey, <laughs> let's go. Let's Dr. Eggman owes us like a million dollars because we did like 600 jobs, but he still didn't pay us. We thought it'd be different. <laughs> Sorry. That's getting a little, a little real. Sore it's a little yeah. too real for Charmy. Oopsie. Yeah. That was the, probably the Sorry. worst voice impression You're all ever. having fun. I'm sure Vector yeah. will find it great. I'm sure Shadow's going to love mine. <laughs> hey, why my Dr. Eggman impression? I think we're going to be okay. Oh, um, yeah. Yes, I think we're going to get we're going to get a talking to you about that. <laughs> More than yeah, like you care. <laughs> all right, Silver, we're back to you. Numbers one through three. <sighs> It's about silver. 19. From 19. silver is underrated. Uh -huh. Thank you. Do you know that you are actually the strongest Sonic character in the franchise? Technically, really? you could use psychokinesis <laughs> to instantly kill anyone. <laughs> what? Theoretically, you could crush Whoa. any internal organ. Oh my God. You know that, God. I know that sounds really dark, but it's true. Oh, oh, oh God. God. Sweet Mobius. Yeah, yeah, I'm kidding, Sweet Mobius. Yeah. Thanks for um, that. I, I, uh, I honestly, I honestly don't, don't give up ideas, anything. but Jesus uh, Christ! Uh, wow. Uh, I don't think I can do that. To be honest, that got really. No hard. kidding. Uh, um, but you, you, Lord. And here we are. We were just doing impressions of our, of our friends. Yeah. Our, oh From impressions to pretty much um, just internal organ intense. combustion. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm aware. I'm, I'm Always aware. gotta add those I'm dark moments and ask the Sonic heroes. The real yeah, challenge is, is uh, putting a cap on that power, because mm, um, mm. as as one should know, you, for any ability, um, utilizing it a little bit too in, in too um, forceful of a manner, or using using any sort of um, yeah. ability like that, um, can be wearing on you and has the potential of hurting others. So uh, while I'm aware <laughs> of the power, I I don't like. Hey, I'm just glad you got that restraint in you, buddy. Like that. Yeah, definitely Amen. not that. Goodness gracious, no. No, Ooh. none of us use our powers for that. No, that'd be Ew. terrible. Robots, maybe. Nasty looking. Yeah, maybe to Eggman's robots. But, like, I, I've never had <laughs> a moment where I was so angry that I just... I just Squashed someone? I, I made one implode on itself. That's that's terrifying. <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on. Yeah, moving along. So, yep, for wait. romance... Too dark? No, I'm missing just the singing. Through 30. <laughs> well, aside from mine. <laughs> oh. Walt Sail Mastic. Walt Salem Stick? What, what the? Walt Sail Mastic. To Blaze. Yeah, I got Have nothing. you ever accidentally burned a city down? Oh, oh wow. God. Right after we talked about how it's going all wonky. Uh, uh, just the second yeah, no half kidding. of this entire episode is just going to be super <laughs> dark. I never burned a city down, um, but I did catch... Uh, the castle mm -hmm. on fire once, and it's just <laughs> Whoops. these powers can, like we were just talking about with silver, um, kinetic powers like these can be very yeah. easily very. You really gotta be focused, otherwise that thing's going. The flame really does have that potential because um, mm -hmm. the innate thing that um, fire can do is destroy things, <laughs> and that's always been a part of it. But when one is able to control an element like fire you bring other things like like things like warmth and light and um constructive things i've never <laughs> wanted to burn anything down that was never my intention um but uh just uh, I, don't I, piss I, her I off too much a lot of, uh, damage <laughs> Sorry. Uh, when i was a kid and it Oof. was hard again you're a kid yeah you tend to do that, that you know that happened. don't worry um, about it um I think it really wasn't until I uh, met Sonic and Cream that that started to that I started Aww. to be able to work through that. Um, but uh, uh, yes, it was never a village. I never burned down a village. That's that's the I guess that's the plus side of things. Just the castle. <laughs> Green one through thirty. Huh? Yeah, I'm kind of surprised 
she actually didn't have any too many hiccups when when powers like I mean when you're going like your fire like pyrokinesis you're tend to burn things down a bit before you get a handle on it you know but yeah fair enough I guess she just stayed in the castle to make sure everything was a okay you know less collateral damage and I'm guessing the castle's a little easier you know the boat or actually what's the castle like in the soul dimension there are molt molt moat <laughs> Yeesh, the more I said molt. Not molten lava. <laughs> Sorry, but you know what I mean, right? Just gotta keep it contained, so why not? Anywho, alright, Marines. Marines next. Num um, let's go with number one. From one. Penguin Crow. Hey, Marine, okay. why and when do you, did you decide to become a sailor? Oh, I've yeah, always what's liked up? the idea of adventure, and I live on an island, so there's only so much to see. You have to go to the open sea to explore so much more. So that's mostly why I decided to build my first boat. And I loved adventures since I was very young. So probably around four or five, I decided I'm going to sail those seas. Go for the adventure. Have some fun. Good answer. Fun is definitely important during adventures. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I just want to know, Maureen, we have an entire yep. island that's just, you know, filled with lush green environments and... Dinosaurs for crying out loud. What made you want to leave? You see it every day, so you look for something else. Plus, I like boats and sword boats. Hey, you never, you never <laughs> know what you see until oh, you get off the island, um, you know? Let's go for... Let's go for number Good 10. Did pick that one already? That was the pocky challenge. Great! Oh, let's go for okay. number 13. Whoopsie. Let's go for number 13. 13? Olonisakin. Yeah. To Alana everyone, Saken. would you ever retire from saving the world? If not, why? Oh, there's no eh. retirement. There's no, there's definitely Pretty no much. retirement plan for us. Until we you're will probably always be fighting whatever crazy things come next. Dr. Eggman, yeah. Dr. Eggman Nega. It's pretty much a part-time job. There's always something, Plays. There's always something new. What are you thinking over there? Our adventures. <laughs> and I've, I mean, as much as I would love for the, for the world to stay saved <laughs> every now and then, um, he gets born. The the amount of satisfaction that you get from, you know, saving the world and actually having that peace afterwards is, ah, it's so nice. I wouldn't ever mm -hmm. want to stop, but at the same time, I do have other responsibilities. Oh yeah, um, she is the queen of the soul. Princess. Well, I don't know. True. Someday it may be required of me to take on a more political role instead of being able to actively fight because huh. if something happens to me. Huh. There really isn't anyone else. Not a lot of people that can take I over. Don't govern the area. I don't have an heir. Huh. And I'm not married. Ooh. So I would just have to hope at that point that other heroes have um <laughs> sprung into action in the meantime. But I, yeah, I can see her popping into the mentor I'm, role. Uh, Why not? Unfortunately, unable to avoid it. I I, I well, think well. Uh, we're not going anywhere. Nope, we'll see. I don't have any plans to stop. I've only just begun. That's right. So we'll True. continue You're fighting still young. on. To the bitter end. So, Yeehaw. I think that's the end of part two here. It's been a blast. We will see you next yeah, time. Yeah, two dark questions of, part you three. know, blowing up hitters and uh, burning down villages. Espio the Chameleon here, and we'll all Sign see up. you in the next part. Is a silver, and I will see you all on the next part of the episode. This is oh, Maureen oh. setting sail. Until next time. This is Blaze. And we will meet again. Yep. Not for long, actually. So, like always, just uh, jumping ahead a bit. So we can just go ahead and get to the next part. So. Okay, just make sure of everything. Ready to go. So, for the last time, here comes part three with episode 21. Here we go. Hello hey, everyone and welcome back to episode 21 of Ask the Sonic Heroes. I'm your host, Espio the Chameleon, and I'm joined by my co-host, Charmy. And we are joined by Team Dimension once more. Silver, mm -hmm. one through 30 Silver, you up first? Let's uh, go. Let's go for number one. From one. Sonic, Sonic Girl, Girl 98 to Silver, would you consider Shadow as a friend, role model, or even something else even though he picks on you 
throughout most of the show. In other words, yeah, wrong. what do you truly think of him? What do I truly well, think of Shadow? Uh, first things first, uh, prick. Shadow is definitely um, passionate. He's passionate about what he believes. Instagram. I think deep down, Shoes. somewhere Rhea. within Shadow, <laughs> there's a hint of a an acquaintanceship that I'm sure could work out. As it stands, <laughs> though, me and him don't entirely get along, but we end up hanging out at some point anyway. Um, him, me, and Sonic, we all will we'll, we'll, like go out for movies or stuff like that. I mean, yeah, Shadow will be picking on me, but the fact that he even invites me in the first place, that's kind of a kind of a big deal. And I, I, I think... I'd like to believe that there's something more to it. But uh, as it stands, I just think Shadow doesn't like me, but I don't mind Shadow. I just wish he didn't pick on me as much. I do know at I least that Shadow has gone out of his way to do certain things for Silver. I don't really know what to make of all of it, though. He seems to be quite a mix of a number of things. But as long as I'm around, I'm not going to let him pick on Silver. He's my friend. Thank you, Blaze. I'd like to believe he's getting better. <laughs> <laughs> We can always place. Not to say that Shadow is a bad person. Oh, not at all. Shadow yeah, true. is actually Just, far from again, it. a lot of issues. Uh, morally, I'm being never really yes, stood. but he's, he's generally a good guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, pick a number one uh, again, through 30, Blaze. Again, I still Blaze. don't know why he's so Silver. India Moffat. To Blaze, right. nice. when and how did you get your super fabulous outfit? This oh, specific outfit? one, I've had this one for a couple of years now. Um, actually, it was designed for me because I had so many issues with, um, my fire oh, abilities that? when I was younger. Um, we've had a, um, a Wardrobe royal tailor, and he has always made my outfits for me. Um, the thing about my cape and also my gloves, they, um, they help keep the, um, fire impact from radiating outward. Like, my whole body can be surrounded in flames, and that was usually the most dangerous thing, because when I would get over-emotional, my whole body would just be consumed in flames, and it's awfully easy to catch curtains and things on fire when that is the case. Okay, but I think that answers the question sufficiently. Of course. Fair enough. Green, numbers one yeah, through like three, that. if you would. Nice. Uh, let's Green? go with number 28. From the Ajax 720. There you go. To Marine. In Sonic Rush Adventure, when you totally saved Supersonic and Burning Blaze's butts from Eggman's planet, Buster, whatever, you threw something at Eggman and your hand was glowing. Was that light? Or since your name is Marine, was that water? If that's the case, three kinetics on a team is awesome. If not, still awesome, because either way, you have the tale about. How you totally saved the world. You know, that was a really interesting time for me. I wanted to help Blaze and Sonic so that much happen? that I got super focused and, well, that happened. I was so in the moment. I don't know what it was. I think it was water that I summoned. But you're right, it was glowing. It hasn't happened again since. Yeah, no, so what far we like really haven't even gotten her to summon it much. It was really just the one time. Sonic was talking about taking her on um, some kind of adventures to see if he could help her get it activated. What, what would, you, mean, would you like to go on an adventure with Sonic and help learn about your kinetic abilities? That would be yeah. totally amazing. I mean, I love being here with you two, but absolutely. But Moby's still got to expand your horizons. So I gotcha. A little push never hurts. It wouldn't hurt to go give it's it a never, try. It's, it's never wrong sure. to ask for help from others. Yeah, I'd have fun. And chances are, I'd run into you guys yeah, again. Yeah, Sonic will probably cover anyway. you. Don't worry. You, I'm pretty that sure that, yes, you would cross paths with um, all of your friends. Sonic promised mm -hmm. he would take good care of you, which he better do. He's got it. He's mm -hmm. got it. Besides, Come Tails on. will be there. I think above all things, really? Marine, you're... Whatever your ability happens to be, we'll be accepting of it, and we'll learn how to how to incorporate it into our in our into a, our own team's fighting style. Absolutely. Look out, Ooh. Sonic Heroes Two. Team Dimensions on the way. It is on the yeah. way. Right. Yeah. All righty. Man, I swear that has got to be a, something in the future. You think if so Team Sonic actually looked at the series and like Team Dimension, yeah, we can work with that. I don't want to see seen them, so. Can't really break them up, you know? Why not? Though, I'm not sure how they would bring back the whole Blaze thing with Silver, considering, like, Silver's last game gone, but... 
Which really just begs the question, like, we've seen Silver and Blaze next to each other, so... They did get reunited at some point, right? Or did I miss something? Like I said, I don't think they explain it too much in Generations, so... Yeah, I'm kind of worrying about that, you know? I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure how Team Sonic would explain, like how to bring back, say, Blaze and Marine, or maybe even Silver. I mean, at some point, I'm not sure they can bring it back, considering like the whole timeline shenanigans of 06. I think Blaze and Marine are easy, considering the Soul Dimension. I think they still have some access to it, but I'm not too sure. Like I said, it's there's got to be something I'm missing here, you know? Would be kind of fun to see it though, but you know, see the Soul Dimension again in a future game. I mean, on the main console, you know, like PC, PlayStation. What kind of fun? I mean, so far the only exposure we had was on the well, the handhelds. I mean, DS, and that was pretty much it. Yeah, and I miss those games. Just ah, I kind of had a DS back then too. Uh, I missed it. Frick. That sucks. Sorry, I... Self-loathing aside, let's just get to it. So, onwards. We have a group you know, question, and I don't I really have, like, a Sonic display on this Oh, Nine. please, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Princess Ella Luna. Can you Ella all Luna? take a selfie with you using your powers? That would be so cool. Oh, uh, uh, we could do that with I mean, I Silver and Blaze, Blaze, but uh, Blaze, you'd probably not sure about phone. Marine, though. I guess it's we not a selfie if we ask yet. Espio to take a picture of us like normal people. Should I get a bucket of water or something? I can't really, uh... Um, oh, yeah, as for Marine, she yet. can't really Ugh. summon her powers at will just yet. I can do poses. <laughs> do All your right. best, Marine. Why not? <laughs> uh, angling right here. All right, bring the camera. Up Come and on, see if and... the angling is good. You don't have Got to it. press the button, but just, oh, just, yeah. just check to see if it's uh, but, but. If the angling's good. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> ready right. to go. All right. Looking Look good. Three, two, three, two, one. one. Yeah. Hey, oh, I like that. Away. That's there dope looking. Looks nice. Look at that. Nice. That's not half bad. That looks cool. really nice. Now I now I see why Shadow is so, so into this. It's kind of nice uh, taking a happy picture with everyone. We'll frame this mm. one. That's what people used to All do right. before Instagram. Very, very true. <laughs> All right, Silver. One through Silver, 30 once again, please. Let's Here's your last one. for number two. From two. Katie Three. Hunter to Silver. When you come back to the past, what surprised you the most? I think the thing hmm. that really surprised me the most about the past was how green everything was and about just how much life and vibrancy there was just in general. Not that there was... <laughs> Not everyone was just gone in the future. Far from it. We had the resistance and Blaze and myself and everybody there who was uh, trying to stop the flames of disaster. But it was nice to see a world that didn't have said flames. It was nice to see a world where the 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 worst thing that somebody has to worry about is getting the wrong order in Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> or getting kidnapped by Eggman repeatedly. But that's another yep. story. Or being <laughs> cheated by him. But, um, what surprised me was the smiles on everybody. It was something I wasn't used to. And, uh... Well, they're just enjoying the moments, nice you know? To have that change of pace. Amen. That was wonderful. It's easy to take the world you have for granted, especially when, you know, every world at every time has issues. Sometimes pretty scary issues, but at the same time, it's important to really focus on the good things as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's that's my answer. Just um, the, the world life itself going, was just going happier, at a time. as Blaze said, <laughs> and it, it's, it was a Amen. it was a nice time, just experiencing that positivity. All righty. Uh, I believe you have questions one through thirty. Blaze, head twenty-two. Up. Last one. Okay. 22. From Dragon Blade. Dragon Blader, nice name. To Blaze, do you consider yourself to be a better guardian than Knuckles? Why mm. or why not? Oh, uh, you guys kind of have different circumstances. I know that the question yeah, is probably fair. referring to the fact that Doctor Eggman tricked Knuckles a, a number of times into escaping with the Chaos Emeralds, and you know, mm. 
Dr. Eggman and Dr. Eggman Nega escaped with my soul emeralds too. Um, but no, I don't think of myself as being a better guardian than Knuckles. He and I have struggled with many of the same things. Um, losing our parents early and having to figure <laughs> things out on our own rather than having um, a guide throughout all of our guardianship experiences. I, yeah. uh, I value yeah. his, uh, his input, and actually lately I've been talking to him about his own strategies and what he knows about hmm. the emeralds to apply them to my own strategies. Knuckles is pretty smart, though. Yeah, very gullible. Yes. Not yet. Hmm. You know, Gullible. I suppose we'll that, that actually hmm. makes me curious. SBO and Charmy, what do you two think? You are uh, some of Knuckles' friends, aren't you? Some of you? Aren't you guys like his oldest friends he's ever had? We are. We were with him ever since Mighty was around, before hmm. he pretty much went oh, on his own adventures. But I would love to see the guy again. the Master Emerald, and as well as the Chaos Emeralds, very well. It's just that when his temper oh. and his own personal feelings get to him, which is usually triggered by Eggman, he doesn't <laughs> tend to think rationally and tries to resolve things through violence. He gets a little carried away, but that's mostly yeah. <laughs> just the worry talking. Of course, there's mm -hmm. no doubt in my mind that he cares so much about protecting not only the Emeralds, but everything in general. Knuckles is a good guy. It's a lot yeah. of responsibility to be, um, to be a, def a uh, to be a guardian. So I mean, it can feel like very guardian, overwhelming like the soul emeralds and the master emeralds. And he and I have both only somewhat recently learned how important it is not to take that onto only your own shoulders and that you do need the yeah. support of others to be an effective guardian. Well, he's Amen. definitely got our support. Always have backups. Team Chaotix is always behind Knuckles. Definitely. If there's anything that anyone would need, we'll be there. <laughs> Cheers. Indeed. All right, Maureen. Questions mm -hmm. 1 through 30, please. Let's go. Let's go with number 25. 25. From just a hunch, no, to Maureen. Hunch, crow. Do you ever feel like you're the odd one out because Silver and Blaze are in the Olympic Games as playable characters and you're usually one of the judges? Personally, I think Ouch. you're cool and wish you were more playable. Just curious, that's Amen. all. Sure, I feel left out sometimes, especially in the Olympics. I've never been there. I'm not sure what judge you saw, but there's a costume uh -oh. of me running around. I'd like to join the game someday. <laughs> it feels back in Brazil, their right? In the next one. Yeah, I mean, it's loads of fun. <sighs> the only crossed. problem is the Olympic trial process is very rigorous. I can do it! Or at least I, make I'm, me I'm a aware. judge like Cream I don't have any Chami. doubts in my mind about that. Uh, hmm. It's just, fair, you gotta fair. prepare yourself, because it's a lot more... It's a lot more difficult than you think. Maybe it's because of the age requirement. Like, I think you gotta be like a certain age for to be able to like compete. Like, I know this is saying something considering Tails is 11. I think the cutoff for like the Sonic Olympics would be say eight or 10 or something. I don't know. Like it explains why Tails is in there, but not Cream or Marine, you know? Since they're not old enough to, you know, participate. At least that's what I think. I mean, I still remember back in Beijing that there was a big stink. One of the Chinese, like, athletes, you know, like a gymnast, was way too young to be competing. They didn't know about it until, I think, afterwards. And they had to strip her of the medals because, again, didn't complete, you know, comply with the rules. Which, yeah, the Olympics take their rules very seriously, considering, you know, it's about, you know, sportsmanship, fairness, competition, you know, all that. So, yeah, I'm guessing this is why Cream and, you know, Marine are not part of the Olympics, considering what happened. You know, with that, you know, gymnast, which, I mean, I get what they're doing. So, I say fair point to the, you know, programmers to actually know about that, so... Otherwise, I think most people will be worried about, you know, the, they're pushing Marine and Cream to be performing at the Olympics, which, yeah. Anyway. I think, I wonder if it's got mm -hmm. something to do with um, an age limit or something, because mm -hmm. Yeah, they I was actually saying about that. Mm -hmm. Weren't so, I'm not sure, like, uh, like, Cream and Charmy and Marine were not the uh, first picks that the, uh, that the Olympic judges decided to let in. Well, hopefully we get you in. At least as a judge. I'm sure we I'm will. I'm great at judging people. <laughs> okay, last group question. Last question, Green, let's go. Pick a number one through 30. Eight. 
looks Eight. like this is from King Blizzard and oh, oh no. What's wrong, Tony? Okay. What, uh, what happened? Uh, for all, who would you marry and why? But here's the catch. Silver and Blaze cannot pick each other and Marine cannot choose tails. Oof. That is that is your question. Oh my god. Love <laughs> question. Man, so that's three. Uh, I, I just, I, uh, could you put that stick down? Want you two. Two. Stop it. It, it, it's, I like, swear, like, we gotta confiscate I, that from you too. I'd be stuck with for the uh, for the remainder of my life, and it, it can't be Blaze. Just speak hypothetically, if that's any hmm? consolation. Hypothetically, I mean, are you sure that's whoever good idea? I marry, it would have to be someone who could be dedicated to protecting the world. Like, mm -hmm. but it's a hard call, really, because you know the person most like me in that regard I can even think of would be Sonic. But at the same time, he has his own dimension that he needs to protect, and I can't take him away from that. So... I know whom. Who are you going to marry? A marriage oh. above all things is about being the best of friends with people, right? You have to I have a, at least guess? some sort of a friendship Where when you're marrying going? somebody. And it's somebody that you can stand your whole... T you, you, for it, with, No matter what. And it's mm -hmm. somebody that you enjoy their company. Right? Yeah. I pick Espio. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Whoa! Look at Espio's like, what the hell? Oh! I was not expecting that. <laughs> I don't know where. Espio. Espio. Will you oh, marry me <laughs> out of, out Whoa. of sympathy? Oh my god. You're my gosh. friend. Oh my god. I enjoy your company. <laughs> and I, I feel like you wouldn't want to throw me out of a window. Oh, I wouldn't. Okay. You're a, you're a dear friend to me as well. But this... <laughs> All right, so speaking Go hypothetically on. and helping <laughs> you through this situation, yes, Silver, well. I would. <laughs> Thank you. Thank goodness this is God, only this hypothetical. Is so <laughs> only hypothetical. Oh, oh man. Oh, sure. I'm a little sure. overwhelmed. That did take Sorry. a turn for the extremely Sorry, unexpected. That's you think? no me. Thanks a lot, Silver, for that. Very interesting indeed, Silver. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. how do we top that, Marine? Marine? <laughs> you should still got an wow. answer. Maybe I should just Come go on. with Charlie and keep it in the chaotic. Uh, Does this mean I have to marry Vector? <laughs> oh, we're all we'll the just, chaotic. We'll just marry Charlie. the chaotic. We're all gonna get married chaotic, together. Okay. <laughs> Very oh, just so. Uh, <laughs> I mean, serious. realistically, Jeez. I can't marry Vector. He can't be Ooh. the king. It would just be kind of funny. It, and I can't marry <laughs> King Espio. Croc. He's my friend. Yes, I agree. We know. Look at that hypothetical. Jeez. That was, that was King fun, Blizzard. honestly, and uh, very, mm -hmm. very interesting. Oh, guys, guys, guys! Huh? Guys! What? Vector's what? in trouble! What? What's going Sonic? On? What's Sonic? What? what? Vector's getting Eesh. arrested at a hot dog stand. Really? Apparently, he didn't have the cash to pay for his meal. Again. Oh. Guys, we got you guys got to wrap up this <laughs> episode quickly. Come on. Ugh. All well, right, all right, this is Jeremy B. We better hurry. We're leaving. Right. Bye. Bye, Vector. Vector. You dummy. Espio the Chameleon. Sayonara, Minasan. Vector, Sayonara, what'd you do this time? Come here. This is Blaze oh, the Cat. How bad we better go. go. Bye. Yeah, uh, bye, come bye. On, Vector. This is Captain Marine off to save Vector from the hot dog police. It's Silver the Hedgehog. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Nice, wait up. Don't it's Sonic the Hedgehog and come on, guys, let's go. <laughs> okay, screw you, Seagull. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, should have expected that. <laughs> oh, boy. I just hope they stop Marine before she just gets arrested for assaulting the cops. <laughs> Sheesh. That would be bad. That would be bad. <laughs> just saying. Oh, boy. Well, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that one. <laughs> I'll see you guys for episode 22, which should be one of the last of the part threes, or three-parters. So until then, thanks for watching, everybody. Adios.